Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. It is just about uh, 11 minutes before 7. Well, picky eating is a typical behavior for many young kids. So what can parents do to introduce new foods and keep their kids eating a healthy diet? Joining us this morning with some help for parents who want to win the mealtime battle is registered dietitian <laughs> Marisa Pruitt. Good morning, Marisa. Good morning. This is a huge issue in my house. I'm wondering, though, what I should have done to try to stop this kind of picky eating phase from ever starting. Is there anything parents can do, maybe when their kids are just starting solid foods, to prevent this phase? Sure, absolutely. I think one of the things we forget as being parents is to involve our children in the whole process. Starting from the grocery store, letting the children pick out the fruits. Um, having them pick some things off the shelf that we want in our cart and have them put it in the cart. And then when we get home, involving them in the whole preparation process, um, from washing the lettuce to setting the table, just easy things that kids at any age can do. It helps them be more open to trying new foods, a little bit more willing to experiment with things that they may not typically like to eat. Mm -hmm. Is it normal for kids to like want one thing and request that all the time and throw a fit? if they don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, what you're probably experiencing at home is, is very typical behavior. Um, and I think we forget, as adults, we are more willing to try things, whereas children may need 15 to 20 opportunities to see, smell, touch, um, taste a food, put it in their mouth, take it back out before they're willing to actually eat it on a regular basis. So we can, as parents, can get very frustrated and, you know, why aren't you eating this food? But it, it, that is typical child behavior. Should you force a kid to try something or does it have to be something that they're willing to do on their own? In general, I would say that uh, keep offering it. The more the child sees it, the more they touch it, like I said before, the more willing they are going to be. But I wouldn't force the issue. You can certainly talk about the food. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What's the texture like? The color? But I wouldn't get into that battle of how does it taste or do you like it or things like that, which just kind of um, pushes the child away a little bit. So you should let them play with it, in essence. Yeah. Yeah, I, we are always told not to play with our food, but really um, that's how children learn, by touching and feeling and tasting. Okay, does bribing work? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, typically, we would say probably not the best thing to bribe the child. Otherwise, other foods start to become more appealing. For example, when we bribe our children with dessert, um, dessert becomes the more favorable option than when we should treat it as equal so that we're not... Um, having some issues as adults choosing the right foods most of the time. Well, I'm in trouble then. <laughs> well, thank you. I think we all do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of the bribe. <laughs> Marisa, thank you so much for joining us this morning again, 10 to 15 times before a kid might try 10 to 15 times, something. yep. All right, thank you so much. Try to put that into action at your dinner table today. <laughs>